Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact Handgun that is new this year. This is the smallest handgun in their expansive TP9 line. This is a closer look review. I already did a range review. I, I shot it quite a bit. I was thoroughly impressed with the way this gun performed. And I already mentioned there are a lot of TP9 handguns from Canik. I'm not one of those guys that can say, you know, the, the ins and outs between all of their handguns. But what I can say with confidence is that I have owned this TP9 SFX for approximately four years now. And it has performed excellent. This is their largest model. It's a competition gun. I don't compete, but I love owning this gun. And now this is their smallest model. Both have a tungsten finish on the slide that I think is pretty sharp looking and it holds up really well. For being, you know, four years old and shot many times, this looks brand new. I have to believe this will wear the exact same, which is very tough. However, it does have many other features and, and qualities about it that mimic this and others that shooters really enjoyed let's start with the magazine it does come with a 12 and a 15 round magazine the 12 round magazine has a extension on the base plate it also offers a flat base plate in the case we're going to take a look at that but this will offer three finger contact on the grip and then the 15 is nice because it offers of course three finger but it gives a full size feel to it with with the 15 round mag now if we look in the case we will see that there's quite a bit offered with this handgun and we'll start right here with the holster currently set up for outside the waistband i wore it like this for a while and it is a comfortable holster if you move these belt clips to the other side it will work for inside the waistband but it does have nice retention it has a tool kit here because this is optic ready all right you can see right there has a plate there comes off you add various optics on there and that many shooters are going in that direction and you were seeing that with the ccw market it also has an additional back strap right here all right and a flat base plate for this mag if you want this gun in its smallest configuration you can have that with that flat base plate. It also has a cleaning kit up top. And Canik is known for adding a lot for not a lot of money. This gun right now is selling for between $360 and $380. With everything that it offers and a very quality made gun that shoots outstanding. I really enjoyed it at the range. It has a 3.6 inch barrel. All right. Front serrations, serrated black rear sights, dot in the front. It has a loaded chamber indicator bar right there and a striker fire indicator right there. So I already showed clear. If the slide is not charged, then that goes away. But it does have that red dot right there that tells you that the slide is charged. A rail up top here and a trigger that I find very very nice it has a standard pull trigger bar safety in there trigger bar safety is red which i think is a little different and then there is the reset right there you can feel it at the range when, when you shoot this gun that short reset is pretty nice metal sights as well okay so they didn't cheap out on this at all it's an ambidextrous gun, so you can see it does have the slide stop on the left and right side, and then the magazine release can be moved over to the right side for lefties. And of course, those who like that red dot on their handguns, it's available right here. One of the things I really like about the gun is the way it disassembles. You just pull the trigger there, move the slide back a little bit, then release, and... Off comes the slide from the frame. So simple. We're seeing a couple other handguns like that. Uh, and and I, I find it easy and, and quick to do. Here's your 3.6 inch barrel. Dual recoil spring. And there is your slide. Now, 
During my initial review that did take place at the range, many people wanted comparisons. They said we wanted to know how that stacks up. Oh, see, I almost did it like uh, like a standard slide off the, the rails. But here you just get it in this position and pull back like that and you're good to go. But many people wanted to see the difference between this and a FNS 9C. So we'll go ahead and compare. Let's put the magazine back in here and we can see that it's just a little bit longer all right and then both in 12 round magazines inserted there you go approximately the same a little thinner with the elite subcompact and you can feel it now the mags are not interchangeable there but another very common request by the viewers was check out you know the the differences between that and the ppq subcompact so here we we can see that it does have similar looks to it all right this has a 10 round mag 12 round mag i can see up here and then here we have very similar very very similar this mag won't work but this mag will work in the walther but another point i want to make to, to that is if you have Walther handguns, okay, here is my Q5 match, same as the PPQ, that will work here with a 15 round mag, all right, so that will work no problem, and of course, okay, so I got guns and mags flying all over here, but that's okay, the 20 round mag from the TP9 SFX will also work so a lot of magazine compatibility with this little subcompact gun. So I want to get it out of the scale so we can take a look, being that it is a subcompact gun, then we'll wrap this thing up. Here we have the TP9 subcompact, 12 rounds in the magazine. It's weighing in at one pound, 13, seven eighths ounces. Move that to just ounces, exactly 30 ounces. There's another target load, 30 and three eighths ounces. So there is the loaded weight. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with what this gun can offer for right around $370, $380. At the range, it was outstanding, and it has a great feel to it and offers quite a bit for a subcompact gun that I think many shooters are going to enjoy. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.